everyone and welcome back to Cram Farms. Today I want to show you how we have been getting some fresh produce and groceries without going to grocery stores. Now we have our garden going but we're not getting any produce out of it yet and because of that we still have to have food to feed our family. So it's towards the end of the year now, well the end of winter and so our food that was stored from last year is kind of getting towards the end. So there's two services that we have been using and this is not a sponsor video. These companies do not know I exist except for the fact that I buy from them. Um, so I want, I just want to bring to you ways that you can get food without going into grocery stores right now since everyone's trying to stay out. So the very first thing that I have done and my box has just arrived and they're sitting here on my porch. So I want to show you um, those two services. The first one is Misfits Market. And the other company is Thrive Market. Now you may have heard of them before. They put a nice little covering over that box. Misfits Market is all certified organic produce. Um, now it is bought from farmers that um, would sell to grocery stores, but the produce is maybe a little bit too small, or maybe it has a little blemish, or maybe it's just the wrong color or sizing, something a little off on it. And so a grocery store won't take it. So Misfits Market gets it and then sells that produce to um, its customers. There are two box sizes. There's a small box, which is $22. And then there's the larger box, which is what we get. It will feed about a family of five or six for about a week. And that one is $35. Now I'm going to um, open the boxes, show you what I do to get the produce inside and get it all washed off, especially right now. And then I will show you what came in my box for this week. After we unpack my Misfits Market box, I will talk to you a little bit about my Thrive Market box also. All right, so your box comes like this. Um, we're leaving our boxes on the porch for extended period of time right now. But um, inside of this box is a more temporary box, um, temper pack. And so inside of it also, it also has ice packs um, to have your food package. So I'm actually gonna pull this part out and take it inside and I'll show you what we what the produce is. All right, what I do next is pretty simple. I run my sink full of water. I add, um, I use a um, Thieves all-purpose cleaner. I use that for a little bit in the sink. And this is what I'm going to let my produce um, soak in. So I want you to see how everything is packaged. So you can see we got some pretty bok choy. And yes, I throw everything in the water. Oh, we got several things of bok choy. So like I said, this is the large box. And so it's meant to feed a family of like five or six for up to a week. <clears throat> Now we have gotten some things, you'll see ice packs, ice packs. We've gotten some things that we haven't been sure what they were. So here we got um, grape tomatoes and um, it's, some things we've gotten we haven't known exactly what they were but it's been great for us because it's given us the opportunity to explore um, different foods. We've got some zucchini. Rutabagas. Apples. Two packages of green beans. More apples. Because I'm getting rid of all packaging, I really just dump everything straight into the sink. We got some onions, red onions. They also send you a recipe um, in your box each week. So this one is a caramelized onion puff pastry tart. So that's neat. And now I let everything sit in here for a little while um, before I start rinsing things off and off. Now, if you get some produce, but like last week, I got a cucumber, oh, I got a few cucumbers, and in my box, they were just like smushed to pieces. And all I did was email them, and they credited um, my box for this week back 20%. So they're really good about making sure that your stuff is of high quality. So now, I pretty much let everything sit in here, and then I'm going to start scrubbing it off, rinsing it, and then I lay it out on my counter um, to dry. 
And once everything air dries, then I go on and start packaging it either in like um, glass storage containers, like cutting it up like I would use it. Um, the green beans, I'll go ahead and snap those and I'll probably cook those for lunch today. And um, the fruit and stuff, everything, I'll just go on and wash it up and get it put away. So I'm gonna go on and start washing up and getting it dry and I'll show you what that looks like afterwards. So I have washed everything up and I have it sitting out here on the counter so you can kind of see. We got um, two mangoes, two peppers, four zucchini, a bunch of green beans, six oranges, um, only two sweet potatoes, several carrots, uh, four things of baby bok choy, a thing of celery, six apples. I gotta look this one up, y'all. This is like, it is a green, a salad green. Mizuna maybe. Um, I have to look it up. See, this is one of the good things about getting these boxes. You have to try new things. We had never had rutabagas before until we started getting a Misfits Market box. And then we have cherry tomatoes. And we have cooked these up and roasted them and the kids and everyone have enjoyed them. So this is what the um, $35, the large, it's called Madness boxes. So that is what the Madness box looks like. That is what we have been doing for produce while staying out of the grocery store. Um, and I'm gonna show you now um, Thrive Market. Some of you may know about that, but you can order um, like pantry items on there. So my box is on the porch and I'm gonna open it up because I don't remember what I ordered. Um, some places you'll know are having slower shipping times right now. And that is one of the things with Thrive Market at this point. Um, I think this order was actually placed about two weeks ago. And so um, there's some staples that we needed then. So let's go see what's in that box. There's one more thing I forgot to tell you. If there's something um, that you wanna add to your box, you can do that on Thursdays. Um, Misfits Market opens up um, at four o'clock on Thursdays and you can go in and add extra things to your account. So like last week we got blueberries added, we um, had some asparagus and these are at cheaper prices. Now you just have to kind of know your prices too though because like blueberries um, were more expensive than what I could, would get them in the grocery store typically, but Am I gonna go out to the grocery store right now and buy them? Or would I rather just pay like 75 cent more and get them? You know, that's up to you. Um, another thing is the box is a mystery. And so you really don't know what you're getting. Um, for example, my kids do not like celery. Um, and we got some last week and we got it again this week. And what I did was I cut it up and froze it because I can use it in soups, even though we're not gonna eat it fresh. So, I'm paying really special attention right now to the fact that I'm not trying to waste any food. So um, we will still use that, um, even though it's something that my kids and myself and my husband, either one, now, none of us like to eat it fresh. So we will um, cut it up and I'll use it for soups and I'll use it for broth and things like that. So that way um, it's not going to waste. Let's see what I ordered. Oh, I do remember a lot of this now. So um, <clears throat> I had ordered some, we were out, so some organic ground um, flax seed, organic sunflower seeds, um, organic cashews, and you need to kind of just go and check your prices because some things are cheaper, some things are not. Um, arrowroot powder, I use this in making our, um, baking powder, and I use it for other things. We don't use cornstarch. Oh, I must have gotten two things of flax seed that'll work. Um, this is just some organic sunflower butter. Now I know, I know what a lot of this is and you're going to think what in the world? So we use, um, coconut milk for calories and South Carolina's tube feeds. So I got several cans of organic coconut milk in here. Uh, I got some of the organic brown rice pasta just to throw on the shelf so that we had some staple things. And, oh yeah, I got a couple of cans of just um, organic diced tomatoes. These are fire roasted and these are diced. So that's kind of what my Thrive Market box looks like. Now those are just like pantry staples, things that um, I kind of keep on hand. I have to have the coconut milk for Caroline's um, feeds, but we use like the organic sunflower seeds. I can use those in the energy balls we make for snacks. Um, I can use them in um, this granola type cereal that I make for the kids and for Craig and um what else um the air root powder ground flax seeds all that is good and protein and omega-3s and so just trying to keep your body healthy during this time those are some things I want to make sure I still had on hand um 
So if you haven't heard of Thrive Market, I will leave um, a link below for that also. Um, and again, this is not sponsored by Misfits Market or Thrive Market. They do not know I exist except for they're probably wondering why some crazy lady just bought 20 cans of coconut milk. But that is because I needed them for Caroline's feeds. And um, while if food really gets scarce, the rest of us can kind of eat whatever. I've still got to be able to give her um, good calories and nutrition. So um, that's what came in that order. You saw my Misfits Market box. I absolutely love the Mystics Market. Um, it has been great during this period to keep us out of the store. And um, it'll be great, I think, during winter. But once this garden starts coming in really well, I'm not gonna be ordering um, Misfits Markets, probably because I won't need it. My garden will be providing um, enough food for us, for our family of six. And this year, I've got some different garden plots that I'm starting in hopes that we can grow close to a year's worth of food for our family of six um, in our raised beds, our in-ground plots and some larger um, like crop gardens that we have going. We'll be showing you all soon too. So you'll see this is kind of my area once everything is opened outside, sprayed off, and then I bring it in here and it sits for a couple more days before I actually put it away on my shelves. So I just want to make sure everyone knows, yes, we are cleaning and um, you do research and do proper cleaning for your family. Um, but our stuff will sit here for a few more days, even after it has sat on the porch for a few days prior, cleaned when I brought it in, and now sitting again. So I did look up the um, current promotion for Misfits Market, and it is 25% off your first box. So that is a great, it'll, um, you can try out the smallest box or the bigger box. Um, again, this is not sponsored at all. Anyone who shops with Misfits Market has a referral code, and that's simply what I'm going to give you below. If you're interested, it'll get you 25% off your first box. So, um, a lot of people might want to know, like, why, why are you being so crazy with your cleaning? Well, with everything going on right now, we do have two kids that have cerebral palsy, so <clears throat> they're um, at a higher risk for this. Um, so, we are just, you know, we're not using bleach and Lysols and things like that. We are using our own all-purpose cleaner that we always use, um, but you do your own research and you clean with what you feel comfortable with for your family. Um, but we are cleaning, leaving packages out, cleaning them, bringing them in, letting them sit. And so the same thing with produce and we're avoiding the stores and obviously we are staying home. So everyone stay safe. That's all I'm going to say about that. I hope this um, helped you out a little bit. If you're interested in Misfits Market for produce or um, Thrive Market, I'll leave both of those links and codes below so that you can get um, a percentage off. They Misfits Market changes. Um, sometimes it'll be 24 25% off your next two boxes. Sometimes it's 50% off. Um, their promotions, I guess, kind of change. Thank you for joining us today. I know it's a little bit of a different um, video than what you would typically get, but this is how we're getting food right now while we're waiting for the garden to come in and while we aren't really going out to stores. So you all hit the like button on your way out. Don't forget to hit subscribe and we'll see you next time right here at Cram Farms. Have a great day.